Hi guys and welcome back to Nick with 77 Reviews. So I've been asked to do a review. So I have purchased these shoes and I have managed to wear them quite a lot since buying them. As you know I'm post up so I can't walk too far but I have this week started to walk to my son's school and back um, just because I am a um, a DVT sufferer so I do get injected every night in my stomach and I have got like the DVT stockings on which I need to keep on till um, January so walking is essential at the minute and they don't really recommend you walking for like two to three weeks after your operation but it's going to be three weeks on Friday and I think it was about time to start doing a little bit more movement and kind of getting things back into um, perspective because I have been feeling a little bit low on multitude of their things so one of my new subscribers has these and they absolutely love them and she asked me if I would do a review on mine an honest review what I think of them so I have seen a little bit of like negativity lately on like Killstar and stuff and I completely understand why because I have had issues with Killstar as far as sizes and stuff goes with clothing um and I hope to god Nothing happens to my shoes, but I have seen people's pictures. I mean, I am on a Killstar Anonymous kind of group, and I have seen where things have gone wrong, what shoes, and my heart was like, because <gasps> the price, they're not cheap. And I'm sorry, but if I paid 90 quid for a pair of shoes that lasted a month, I would be mortified. Now, I do buy such brands as Demonia, um, Converse, Doc Martens, um, Urox, uh, Iron Fist, Pleasers. I have bought a multitude of different brands of shoes. So Kill Stars are, are actually a new one for me. So let's just get stuck into this review. And it was the sold out high tops. They were £44.99. <coughs> but I think um got them a bit cheaper due to codes and money off and um honey voucher code as well as well as other things. So these arrived while I was in hospital, so I couldn't open them straight away. So they have been here, sat here for a while, and I've not been able to open them. But I have been wearing them since. So guys, they came in this lovely black box, which you have seen me with um, an unveiling. The box is quite a solid box, and then inside it has this little sticker, and I'm not too sure where the sticker's come from, but it just says anti anti mold chip doing it. Oh, I think this is keep your shoes fresh, guys. So it's to stop your shoes from getting moldy if you do keep them in the box like I do. All my Iron Fists are in the original boxes. A lot of my shoes are in the original boxes. Apart from shoes that I bought second hand with no boxes. But generally my my shoes are all in boxes. My boxes are all in shoes. And then there's like this crystal diamond effect on the box. Good solid box. So that's the lid. And they were packaged well guys. There was like lots of tissue inside like they do. And like cardboard and then there's this lovely black soft tissue so this is the box it came in um standard box really and it says sold out high top size eight um they've got a little hole here which i usually add to to make the shoes breathable and then it says we are the weirdos mister completely so i have worn them and do i love them I really do. I really do. So, as you know, as you should know by now, I have a long-term debilitating back disability, which is going to get worse as I get older. Um, not a lot of you people do notice it. I do. I am starting to twist on one side, so eventually you'll probably start noticing. A, a, a com you will notice you just don't notice now because i try and hide it with these lovely long locks of hair but um i started wearing these because i go to school and i did actually wear these back to the hospital when i got readmitted not once but twice and i did wear these going back and i gotta say they looked really hideous with white stockings and a black skirt i looked uh you can guess so these are the sold out high tops now i will explain my excitement and why i wanted these so badly i used to have a pair of stiletto boots pardon me stiletto boots but the spikes on them were silver and they was quite like sharp silver spikes 
Oh, I loved them. I loved them boots. I loved them so much, but I couldn't wear them, guys. I couldn't even like just remotely stand up in them. They were so goddamn high. Then I sold them and got my money back for them. Um, but these obviously have got like, I can't describe it as being like, it is like metal, but it looks like plastic, if that makes sense. It doesn't look like metal. And um, they're not as sharp as the ones in my boots, which is a good thing, but they're sharp enough. So as you can see, this design goes all the way around the sides, not at the back and not at the front, which I'm glad because I think it'd be a little bit too much. And then at the side here, you have, um, I haven't got my glasses on. Let me see if I can see what it says. Oh, it actually says Occult Luxury Kill Star and it has the um, Bathamon, Bathamet and the star. I kind of like this badge. So this badge is either glued on and I hope that never comes off because that would be a disaster. But guys, I'll explain the difference between these and my Converse black high tops. Now I did say that I do have black Converse high tops. Um, these are more like a leather rather than a material kind of boot. Um, and I do like leather high tops and it's my first leather high top to be completely honest. A lot of them have been like canvas style high tops and um i just thought how shiny how nice how spiky and it's this bit that impresses me so the sole is quite a thick sole so they're quite wedged in a sense like blocked and like my converse if i was to just take away this strip here that would be my converse it'd be just just that row above going all the way along but this having this double kind of extra it, I don't know what it is, it just it, it just does it for me. My white Converse are quite chunky and I like the chunky kind of effect. I used to have a pair of Madfish, do you ever remember them? They were monstrous, I absolutely loved them. And when they fell apart, I think I cried for about a week because I was like, ah, I ain't got any more shoes like this. And I've always kind of worn quirky footwear, always. Oh, even as a kid, I always wanted quirky, big, kind of platform shoes. Now, comfort wise guys, so I was a little bit wary because I kind of like to put insoles in my shoes to give it that squishy like sketcher type of feel. But <coughs> when I got these and I started having a feel, they actually do feel like they've got really good solid but soft insoles. You could get away with putting some insoles in there anyway. And the reason why is I got a size bigger. So I'm actually a size seven, but I bought a size eight. One, so I can put insoles in there and it doesn't like make the shoes way too small and uncomfortable for me. And I was just a little bit worried not having kill style shoes before if the sizes were gonna be the same in the footwear department as the claws. So in my logic, I mean, I am actually a size 14 now and I'm still buying size 16 to 18 claws on Killstar, which is kind of weird. Um, I, I mean, the last pair of leggings and dress I got were large, which is something around 14. So I think I'm, I'm all right in that sense. But usually large to me, I don't know, would it be a 14 or a 16? But... I was worried about the shoes. If I got size seven, them being too small and too tight, and I hate sending things back. So we got size eight just in case. They are so comfortable, guys. Now, because <coughs> I've had the kind of operation that I've had, it was a little bit of a struggle. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I got real sore throat. It was a bit of a struggle getting them on because obviously with your typical high tops, you got to loosen your laces to just widen up the top of the shoe to get them on. But I'll be really honest with you guys, I don't really do that with these. I keep these the same and I just loosen off the top part and my feet slide in super easy and my feet slide out super easy. I'm hoping that these will last me a very long time. Now, I spoke to this YouTuber who's asked me to do the review. I think it's on Bob C, but it's, she's called Shirley. Now, she's from America. I think it's America. If I'm wrong, strike me down, Shirley. I am, I am doing this off the top of my head. She's had hers for two years and she said she's never had any issues with hers. I'm praying that mine will be the same because, guys, I know I bought these just... The fact that the kill star means nothing, really. I bought these because I just love the quirkiness. I love the spikes. 
I have got shoes upstairs that have got spikes on that I can wear, but I've never had par like this kind of shoe, which is fashionable and quirky, and I absolutely love it. So I was dead excited when I got these. I do actually want a pair of the um, high tops, the Lunas, and they've got the Kitty Cats, but I'm a little bit worried now because I've seen, um, I think, it, who was it? I think Emily Boo did um, her auntie haul on Kelstar and she showed me a picture of her Lunas and what had happened to them. And I was like, oh, oh, I would be mortified. I've not really had disastrous shoes. Well, I have actually, but I've not paid that much for them. So it's not really been a problem. But if I was to pay 80 quid for a pair of shoes that didn't last, I would be livid, absolutely livid. So guys, my overall verdict is these are absolutely amazing. I love them. I did check them when I first got them, guys, because I have got two pairs of Killstown. I have been checking them and excruciating, like really, really checking them. I want to say excruciating then. I don't know what the hell that was coming in for. But I have been checking like the glue, like the soles and making sure there is no kind of no rips, no coming away. And guys, I am, I really am happy with them. They're great and they're comfortable. So I will do a try on of these now and see what you think. Now, my only downfall is, and you might not see it, so I will need your advice or your, like, your honest view. I've been wearing these to school. I didn't wear them this morning. Yeah, in fact, I did wear them this morning, but this afternoon I wore my boots and, um, when I look down, I look like I've got flap, like flappers on, like really big feet because they're really big. So I, I kind of felt like my black like clown feet, if that makes any sense. I felt like they're a little bit too big for me. I mean, my, my toes are literally probably just above this line. <laughs> so they are quite big on me. Now, I was wondering if I do put like a back, a back instep on them and maybe an insole, if that would just make them a little bit tighter for me to wear so put the comments on below and tell me what you think so i'm going to try them on and then i'm going to like go offline completely i ain't going to come back and tell you what i think because i already know what they think but i'm going to do a show let you have a look tell me what you think and um let's hope these last for a lifetime well a lifetime in my sense is past 12 months i mean my doc martins and my new rocks i've had forever and I love them. And I just hope that these will go to the test of them. I doubt they will, but we will see. All right, guys. So that is my Killstar High Top sold out. Sold out. Are they sold out? No. They are still available to buy at Killstar, as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure if they're at that price now, though, guys, because we did get them a lot cheaper. I think they might have gone back to the original price, which is maybe like £60 or something. I will link them below. So you can go and have a look and see what you think. But this is the box that they're in. I'm going to take them back out of the box, guys, because I'm going to wear these tomorrow. But I've just given you a little indication of what they look like. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Hope you enjoyed this little review. And um, as far as returns, let me just say, if we had to return something, I'm not too sure how the return system works because it just has this slip. Um, but hopefully we don't have to go down that path of returning them. All right, guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.